Hello, this is David. Today we're going to learn about the Elpaz Infant Protection System as well as the Wander Protection System. In this video we are going to review the hardware involved. We're going to review how to enroll, how to attach the infant tag, how to um, assemble the Wander band, and uh, learn about the infrastructure hardware, which we've done in previous videos. We're going to define status types in order to arm and disarm and manage the flow of the system. We need to define status types for the tags. We're going to then define a tamper alarm, an exit alert, this time without an escort, uh, but later on we're going to enroll staff badges, and then we're going to define the exit alarm with a staff escort override. And then we're going to learn about auto activation and discharge. So essentially you will not need to touch the computer screen through the whole process. In video two, we're going to learn about infant and mother matching, where we're going to pair the infant tag with a mother tag and learn how to do match tests and companion escort and do a discharge procedure that involves making sure you send the infant home with the right mother and infant um, at correct room. So if a nurse rolls a, an infant bassinet to bring it to its mother, make sure that the nurse gets feedback that she's bringing it to the correct mother. Let's go ahead and start off with our hardware. So the hardware consists of our tags, of course. So you've got the infant charm, the Elpaz charm, with its straps. We've got also a, an Elpaz bracelet, which is used for residents or can be used for the mother. And we have a staff badge, an Elpaz staff badge. As far as the infrastructure goes, we've got our LF beacons, which are placed at strategic locations, particularly exits. And the controller, which you not see here, the junction box. So let's go ahead and uh, attach a badge, excuse me, a charm. We take our strap, thread it through the slit, just pull it through a little bit, maybe about two or three centimeters, an inch or so. Clip off the excess, might want to just round off the edges a little bit, and then pull it back slightly, okay? Now, we're ready to enroll the tag into Iris. So let's go to our setup screen, badges, baby, add by type, the baby group I added in advance, and we're going to use button press. And as soon as we click on that and we attach the band, we get the button, the ID of the tag. Apply that, give it a name, baby Bob. Again, names are not absolutely necessary in this system. So, you, again, you can have the tags enrolled in advance and not need to enter names. We're now going to attach the tag to the infant foot. Okay, tighten it till it's kind of snug. And then, of course, snip the excess. This time, our infant is secure. Uh, let's have a look at our badges here. So we've got Baby Bob currently showing the uh, left room. Okay, so that's our left room, right room, into the east exit. Again, left room, right room, and east exit. Okay, and Similarly, we can add our Wander Patient tag. Go to Badges, and this time we'll go to Residence. Add by Type, Badge, Button Press. We can either press the button, or we can do a tamper, meaning attach the band so that the, we close the circuit, and that transmits a message. We, we captured the ID, hit Apply, Give it a name, patient Peter. Okay, you'll see 
that if we go into the badges screen, that the button two is showing as if it's tampered now. Okay, so the button two is pressed because the band is open. We seal the band. The button two goes up, and we open up. We get the alarm. Okay. Oops, I already defined that alert. We've enrolled our tags. We're going to define status types. So if we go down into our status types, we're going to add by add a badge status, and we're going to call it discharged. So we're going to apply it to the baby tag. Uh, at this point, um, again, we can look at the the location of the patient Peter. Move it into the right room. Move it into the east exit left room and you see that that works pretty well okay now we're going to go ahead and define our alerts so for the baby we're going to add uh, define a LPAS badge alert for the tamper okay we're going to call it baby badge tamper baby we should actually call it baby charm tampered and we're gonna the message is gonna be badge removed at reader. Okay, so now that's our message. At the inputs, the criteria of the alert, we're gonna say if it's a baby badge of the baby group, any reader, and the status types are gonna be for active and suspended, not for discharge, because if we change the status to discharge, then we are able to it's essentially dis disarming the band. And the event type, we're going to go to infant and say infant band removed. We're going to automatically clear that after 30 seconds just for our own housekeeping. On the outputs, we're going to do all clients. So do we see it on our client machine? And for the sound, we're going to give it baby wire, which happens to be a pre-recorded sound. I can test my output, and I get that baby tag tampered alert. Um, okay, so essentially if I cut the band here, I'm going to get that alarm. Might as well do it. Okay, you don't have to do it. We'll do it again with the other, with the wander patient. I tag it. Baby tag tempered. There we go. So I... Um, I cut the band and I got the alarm. Similarly, for the resident tag, let's go to Wander Alerts, Add by Type, also I'll pass badge alert. This is resident bracelet removed. All right? So we could do, oops. Um, Band bracelet removed at reader. Apply that. Let's go to the inputs. So now we're doing a residence. All readers status. Let's say all status. No, uh, not suspended. And they're just in the active state. And we're going to go to in this case a bracelet and the bracelet band open. Outputs all clients and we're going to do, let's say, let's put this 104 wave, let's test that. No, something a little better than that. That's good, okay. So right now if I take my uh, bracelet, I close the bracelet and then I open the bracelet I get my alarm. Our infant tag is back on. Infant tag is located in uh, left room or the right room. Good. Baby Bob. Now we're going to define the exit alert for the infant, right? So let's go baby, add by type. Now we're going to do a location alert. And we're going to do that if a baby tag, you know what, let's do resident also. No, stick with the baby. And if it reaches the eg east exit and it is in the active status, 
right? Remember, if we suspend it, then we can remove it out and not trigger the exit alarm. Okay. What we're going to do is we're going to close when conditions clear so that it only triggers that it immediately when it, if it leaves the exit, it'll close. You don't have to do that. It depends on whatever the customer requirements are for this system. As far as the output goes, we are going to send it to all of the clients. We're going to set the buzzer on the east exit, right? And let's also turn on the red light on the east exit, the red LED. And we're going to play a file that says baby near exit, baby alarm. So essentially, baby near I hear the buzz, it turns red, and I got the message. I'm going to re clear that. Okay. So uh, this is called the baby near exit alert. Okay. So if I take uh, baby Bob, let's look at his location now. His location is in the west wing. Well, that's left room. Let's move him back into LF, let's say. And put him in the exit, and I get the immediate alarm. All right. Pay attention to the speed at which it alarms. This thing is listening every quarter of a second for that message. Boom. Baby, as soon as it relocates, we get that alarm and we can lock the door. Of course, you can uh, adjust the range of these beacons to anywhere up to five meters, So, uh, and it's quite accurate. Good. The next thing we're going to do is define a an escort tag, so a staff tag. So let's do badges, staff, add by type, and we're going to use button press, press the staff button, get the ID, call it uh, Nurse Nancy. Okay, then we're going to go into our alerts and we're going to go to the baby near exit alerts where it says override we're going to suppress when escorted by staff a staff member okay and we're going to give the alert let's say a second to make sure that the baby hits the yellow field first then it gives a chance a one second chance for the staff to man, man, we can increase that time if necessary but I think one second should be enough we're going to move it into the exit just to make sure that the alarm is still working. So it was slightly slower because we did have that one second delay this time. Move it into the right room. Okay. Um, now I'm going to take the staff and the infant together into the exit, right? So now they both go into the exit and there's no alarm, right? So that's how we do e escort. We're going to conclude the video here, and we'll do the next a special video just on auto actions. So thank you very much, and uh, see you at the next video.